Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to continue my Building a Bee Loader series. This is part 7. Today I'm going to work on building the, the fork that lifts up the beehives. So, I brought a hive in to uh, use to get my dimensions off of. So what I'm going to do is, that my idea is, I'm going to use some inch and a quarter box tube. This is a 332nd wall. And, uh, I'm going to use it for the main upright here on a standard hive. I anticipate having to move three high at some point, and so I'm going to, inside of that tube, I'm going to use uh, some of this one inch, eighth inch wall um, box tube, and so I can extend it. It'll have a pin in it. That's initially my idea, and uh, I'm going to continue to uh, develop this plan as I go. I will try and keep some dimensions and things because I'm certain that there are others of you that want to build this particular part of this machine and uh, I'll do my best to, to keep pretty good records for you. So saying that, let's get started. So I'm going to kind of shoot for 24 inches before I make my angle out to, uh, to get the cable in the center or just past the center of the hive towards the front. So I'm going to use that dimension. And, uh, and I'll cut, go ahead and cut some box tubes and we'll, this width here underneath is exactly 13 so I'm going to shoot for 12 and a half so I have a little wheel room to get in there so I'll get going on that okay so this long piece is here I cut 23 and 3 quarters the reason for that was is one was already exactly that length and so I just cut the other one to match it it comes out about where I need it to be um, and then the center pieces I cut 10 inches each and don't forget we're using inch and a quarter box tube so double that's two and a half plus ten is twelve and a half inches and my gap under my beehive is thirteen so I'm gonna weld this up this little square to get started okay so I got this welded up set up here actually just a little bit higher that'll give me some room to get underneath it hive easy. I'm going to try and determine my fork length. I've got this uh, three quarters of an inch here plus a 20 inch wide box. I'm going to go ahead and go 21. That way it won't stick out the front but I'll have full full bearing the full width of of the bottom board and that will kind of help keep the hive from tearing the bottom board apart. Okay so I cut these uh, 21 inches and then just these uh, other pieces here to make the L out of Okay, so I got these forks welded up, but what I discovered is there's quite a little slack in these tubes and they can turn. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to weld a piece here on the bottom to keep these square and oriented um, in a forward direction. Okay, so I got that packed in there now. This slides up and down really nice. And forks go in really dandy to pick up a beehive. Now I'll work on building a fork attachment to grab the handles. Okay, so I'm going to have to splice together a bunch of short pieces here to, to do what I'm doing. And so how, how I do that, when I need to splice a couple pieces together, weld them together, to keep them straight. My table is flat, half inch thick piece of plate here. I got this big heavy angle here to keep them straight. And so when I if I clamp them in there like that, this way and down, and then when I weld that seam, the thing will stay straight. And I'll just tack it, tack it, roll it over, and then give it the razu. If I was welding a piece of round pipe, I'd just drop it right in the channel of the angle iron, and that would keep it straight. Okay, so what I've done here is I've grabbed a couple of 3-inch hinges and uh, a little piece of 3 uh, 8 rod and I put the rod and the press and bent an arc in it and then uh, I took a piece of my my box tube and I put a 45 on the end of it so I'll weld I'll weld this hinge on here like this so then it'll it'll flop like it's supposed to as soon as we come into our box it'll it'll drop down in the handhold and we can lift it and then when we want to set it down we just come down and out okay so what I've done is is that I've finished welding the tabs on my uh, my super fork and uh, and I went ahead and drilled some little pilot holes in so everything lines up 
carriage and I can put a pin in. I'll drill, drill each one of these out to 3 eighths, which is the size of the pin that I have to hold it in there. What I'm working on now is, is the, the arm that holds it in the air, that the winch hooks to. And uh, what I decided to do is I built a little eyelet here that I could put a, I could put a shackle in like this and uh, screw that shut and then the, the four-wheeler winch hook will hook into that and then I took a couple pieces of angle iron and I've welded them to that on either side now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut with my with my cutoff wheel a little V in each side of this and spread it apart until it matches the width of the width of this distance here and then what I'll do is I'll weld that on there so it'll be straight and then I'll go ahead and, and V out on either side and split it and then bend it up to where it has a, um, the angle that I want and then I'll just weld all those V's together. Okay, so I've got it all welded together now um, and holes drilled to pin it all in. Now I can change the height of this also quickly and easily to carry a, a third uh, third box in here. One thing that I did here is this is a little bit longer than I think I need but I can always drill a hole further back once I fi finally figure out what the balance of this should be and, uh, and reposition this. But I'm going to leave it long for now. We'll see how it works and then we can uh, come in and lift up our honey super. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I think I've got it down pat. I know it kind of rushed through some things on measurements and that sort of stuff. I just cut these angle irons here 16 inches long and then began to just fabricate kind of seated the pants to figure out what was going to happen. I welded these two here on first then I cut V notches, spread them out uh, to where they were the right width and then I welded the corners down and then I V notched this I lifted it up to give it a little tip. I welded everything solid. That's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.